This is what we call a turbulator, and it's part of all G-Series furnaces. And today I'm going to be talking about where it goes in the furnace and the different jobs it does and why it's a crucial component for efficient heat transfer. So here I have a drawing of a side cutaway of a G-Series furnace, uh, just as an example. So this is the firebox. In here we have our wood pile, our fuel. We have fresh air coming in the sidewalls of the firebox. Down here in the floor we have our nozzle that goes down into our reburn chamber. Uh, right here is where the hottest burn happens. It's about 2300 degrees here. The reburn chamber spins the exhaust in a circle, spins the flame in a circle so that uh, by the time it gets back here it's dropped it from about 2300 degrees to about 1500 degrees. So then it has to get from this bottom chamber up here to the chimney and there's water jacket in between here. So there is exhaust tubes that are going through the water jacket and that's where the next heat transfer happens. This is probably the most drastic temperature change from here to here. This is what it would be like if the exhaust tube didn't have anything in it and it was just a straight shot. You have about 1500 degree air going in here and you would have about 1300 degree air coming out here. Um, that's not going to work. So with the fan being mounted up above these exhaust tubes, having 1100 degree or 1300 degree air coming out of there is going to just torch your fan. And it's going to burn paint off and the door of your exhaust chamber and all that. So um, we've got to cool this stuff down by the time it gets from here to here. Here's a turbulator. You can see it's just a flat piece of metal that's been twisted. On this other side here, I have an example of what the air is doing with a turbulator in the exhaust tube. So it comes in the bottom here, the turbulator spins the air in a circle, in a spiral all the way up to the top. And what that does is it gives it more time in contact with the water jacket. It gives it a longer path to travel before it can get out of the chimney. So by the time the exhaust gets from here to here, instead of being you know, 1200 degrees at the top, it's down to about 350 degrees. Um, so it makes a massive difference uh, in cooling the air down by the time it gets from here to here. Keeps the heat from going out of the chimney, which you don't want heat going out the chimney, at least not too much. Any heat going out the chimney is wasted fuel. Now the other function of a turbulator is to actually clean the exhaust tube. So in our furnaces we have a handle on the side of it that you pull back and forth and it raises and lowers these turbulators up and down. So Heatmaster has an advantage over the competition in several different ways with this turbulator. First off, the material they use is 409 stainless. Uh, it's an eighth of an inch thick. It holds up quite a bit better to um, heat and abuse, so it won't deform or bend under stress as easily. Um, the second thing that they have an advantage in is the sizing. Uh, they put a lot of thought into that uh, as far as the width of the exhaust tubes, uh, the diameter there. Uh, if it's too big, the air goes too slowly uh, and doesn't transfer heat very well. If it's too small, it tends to clog up. So they found kind of the sweet spot for the amount of airflow that they have going through this furnace. And another thing is these do function as a cleaning tool. Um, and that's something that some of the other co competition has, not all of them. Um, there's a couple of examples where they have stationary turbulators and those tend to clog up very quickly and have to be replaced all the time because when they get clogged up they're made of thin metal and you try to pull them out to clean them they get deformed and and uh it's very frustrating um and the next thing is just access to these things in the furnace so um on some of the competition you have to actually bend the turbulators through the clean out door to get them into their exhaust tubes. And it's, you know, they're made out of thin steel and you just bend them and slide them in. Um, 
kind of an awkward way to do it. It's it's not very easy to do, and it ends up putting a bend, pre-bending your turbulator, which you don't really want. So Heatmaster has directly above these in the furnace, they have an access door that you can take off. You take the roof off, take off the access panel, and you can pull these things straight out the roof and drop new ones in if for some reason they got messed up or you needed to pull them out to clean them. And the last thing I would say that Heatmaster has done right here is the length of spiral. So these turbulators have a twist of about one and four inches and they make sure that their stroke length with these things moving up and down is longer than the length of spiral. So that's another thing we've seen with some of the competition. They have a much longer spiral and their stroke length doesn't actually reach the length of spiral. So you end up having stripes of ash and uh, creosote that don't get cleaned out because um, it doesn't actually do a full stroke for the, the length of spiral. So with these turbulators, they've made sure that the turbulator moves up and down more than four inches so it gets good coverage on the wall of the, of the exhaust tube.